Hello everybody and welcome back to another third of the streak. We're jumping in again and we got Isaac this time around. El Classico, the OG himself. Nice and easy. Uh, oh, well, I say nice and easy. Doesn't mean it'll go well. Um, but hopefully nice and easy. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we've not had a risky character for a little bit here, but I'm sure I'm sure when we're on our 49th win, good old Jake Benizar will rear their ugly head. Um, I really just, basically, once I get to 50, I am easy breezy to start taking some uber risks. <laughs> because I just, 50 is just like amazing. Also, Pinhead is an amazing item to get off the bat. Um, pseudo piercing, kind of. It like isn't full piercing, but we do get some piercing tiers. Um, and the actual Pinhead ability is incredibly strong in certain scenarios. Especially against specific bosses. Uh, like, Pin gets absolutely demolished because it means you do all of your damage multiple times to every segment. It's wild. It's, it's, it's really wild. Can we, can we not have Mr. Jumpy Jumpy around, please? But, yeah, decent, decent start. I mean, I'm never gonna complain about this. In terms of the question of the day to day, what's got you excited right now? What's, what's something in your life that's really got you hyped up? And what's something in gaming that's got you excited? I, I, honestly, it's kind of sad. <laughs> but what's got me excited at the minute is... I, I, as, as, um, as, as bland as it can be and as many people hate it, I still quite enjoy a bit of Call of Duty. But I enjoy it because I'm good at it. I'll admit that. Um, and recently, I've been doing extremely well at it and it, it's it's fun <laughs> it's a lot more fun when you're doing really really well so i've been excited about the fact that i'm able to enjoy the game to its fullest potential because i'm just doing very well in it that's, that's quite nice um okay i keep forget i always forget that this guy creates uh little friends it's a little annoying but most of the time it's not too bad just hope we can take him out swiftly there you go should have tried to Ooh, very very good trinket there as well. Um, oh, there's an extra room here. Wasn't ready for that. Uh, nah, I don't think there's any reason to uh, grab the spicy keys there. I don't have any keys, but this is another boss that gets absolutely demolished by the needle. By Pinhead. There you go, look. Demolished. Um, I'm going to reroll that. Fishhook is much, much better. Very happy with that. Okay, let's keep it going, let's keep it rolling. But yeah, unfortunately, Isaac, once again, it seems to, I seem to go through, through ebbs and flows of, of Isaac dipping and doing better. And it started to pick up a little bit. We were getting like six, seven hundred views a video again, which is not the best it's ever done, but it was decent. But it's dipped de down below 500 again, which is always a bit of a shame. Um, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, but this trinket's just too good. But I, I always try just not to think about it. <laughs> it's it's fine. I'm enjoying YouTube. I don't really care about the views that much. As long as someone's still enjoying it. And really, 500 people. It's still a good amount of people. That's still a lot of you watching. Which is it's, it's fun to see. It's fun to see. Right, no key at the moment. If I don't get key this floor, I'm going to be very devastated that I didn't take the spicy keys. It'll serve me right for uh, thinking I knew better. Oh, but yeah, yesterday, I actually had a really good day yesterday. Um, I recorded the episode uh, that you guys watched yesterday. But then after that, my, my girlfriend is uh, is in India at the moment with work, but she's coming home today. So yesterday, I just spent the entire day, and I mean literally the entire day, from 11 a.m. until like 6 p.m., just cleaning the entire house. And I I'll be honest, I am typical guy. I don't do a great job of staying on top of the cleaning. I'm not... I just... I just don't care. Like, <laughs> like I, I, I care in the way that I know that my girlfriend wants it to be cleaner. But in terms of, uh, I'll risk it. Yeah, there you go. Um, in terms of like cleanliness, I, I need to be a certain level of clean. But my, my level of clean is a lot lower than what my girlfriend considers clean. So <laughs> it, it's, it's not exactly like a, a super big point of contention. But, um. Yeah, I don't clean enough, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Especially considering I work from home, I should probably do more than I do. So, but uh, because my girlfriend's going to be absolutely shattered when she gets home, because she'll have just got off an 11-hour flight, I thought, I'm just going to clean the entire house so she has nothing to do when she gets home. Um, and I keep saying my girlfriend. She ain't my girlfriend anymore. She's my ex-girlfriend. And by that, I mean we're engaged. She's my fiancé. 
I, I, I've been I've been really annoying her by saying I'm gonna introduce her to people as my ex-girlfriend because technically it's true. Technically it's true. She doesn't like that. <laughs> she doesn't like it at all. <laughs> but I think it's funny. Um, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take me a long while to, to to get out of the habit of saying girlfriend. It just it's been that way for literally ten years, more than ten years now. God damn, kind of crazy. Like, not to rub it in people's faces that don't have a relationship, but it's 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 wild. <laughs> ten years with someone. Like, it doesn't feel like ten years, like, at all. It, it went by so fast. It went by so fast. Since I was 16, I was but a wee baby. I was a small, small child when we got together. And now, yeah, we've been together for, like, so long. And it's getting to the point where, like, soon, we'll have been together longer than we haven't. <laughs> Like, that's wild. What we got going on here? We got Solomon, which is good. Blood of Satan always costs one soul heart. That's kind of an interesting idea. Um, It's like a really cheap devil deal, but it's part of Leviathan, and it is a damage up. I think I'm going to take that, you know. One soul heart for, like, a bit of a damage up isn't bad. I think I'm going to take Solomon as well. I think Solomon can be quite good. And then I think we're going to reroll this, and GMO Corn is very good, because that gives us our HP back and some damage. We did get a tears down. I think we got two tears downs, actually. Oof. That was rough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got two tears downs during that. Because um, I'm pretty sure we were exactly 3.7 something before that. Which is pretty rough. But the damage up should make up for it. But I, I really like the idea of that devil deal. That, um... Ooh, mascot's kind of an interesting one. Uh, I like the idea of having a, an always one soul heart cost devil deal. Right. We don't have a key to get into our uh, shops. So I'm going to play the hell out of this and see what we get. Good, good. Not displeased with that at all. This plushie, if you get the money to make it work, is pretty good. Unfortunately, at the minute, we don't have that money, but maybe one day. But yeah, one, one thing I've definitely noticed as of late is um, Nuclear Throne. I don't... How many... I'm curious to hear. How many of you that watch Isaac also watch my other series which ones do you mainly watch because nuclear throne is doing very very well on the channel like it's currently doing better than isaac most times i upload it and i'm not sure it, it, that's is i think it's a mix of a few things so one is that i'm i i know for a fact i'm like one of the only people on youtube playing nuclear throne and definitely one of the only people playing ultra mod so i've definitely got a, a niche there in the nuclear throne community um, because there's not many people playing it, so that that's definitely helps. But also, I think it's just a game that a lot of people nowadays haven't really been exposed to, so it's kind of a new game to some people. Um, and yeah, it's just been doing really, really, really well on the channel for a really, like, really long time. It's, it's been doing very consistently well for a very long time. It's very, very nice to see. I'm curious to see how much crossover there is, because I feel like I've got, like, two separate audiences. I feel like there is a bit of crossover. Some of you that watch the Isaac do watch, um, do watch the Nuclear Throne. That was a really bad hit. This is kind of a rough room, to be honest. Um, I think some of you that do watch the Nuclear Throne do watch the Isaac and vice versa and all that. But I, I think I do have a community of people that just watch Nuclear Throne, a community of people that just watch Isaac. Um, and that's always going to be the case. And I'm, I'm just curious to sort of hear how much crossover there is exactly, if it is a large amount of crossover or not. Thank you. Ooh, you, you, you throw out a big bomb there. Do you want to, uh, try to come over here? Are you only throwing out big bombs? No, okay. Come on now. I think I should probably try and get this as well, because we've got two golden... Two golden keys, come on. Hey! Hey! Stop being a dick. It was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it for the key. Ooh, it's a trinket. It's a trinket, unfortunately. Wasn't looking for a trinket, I'll be honest. Go open that other golden chest. What do we need? What do we want? Mum's ring. Give me mum's ring. Is it mum's ring what it's called? Mum's ring. Ah, oh, that's not mum's ring. That's just more fucking bombs. Although, I'll be honest, I'm not too displeased with the bombs. Bombs aren't bad. Secret rooms galore. Um, and see what we get from there. Bit of, bit of puberty. I don't mind a bit of puberty. I mean, I did mind when I was going through it, but don't mind it now. Um, I'm hoping for more money so we can get uh, the secret room access item. What's it called? X-ray goggles, glasses, whatever it is. X-ray glasses is, is an absolutely god-tier item. The fact that it shows you all secret rooms and it um, 
God damn, look at that string. Look at that string thing. Um, and the fact that it's like, by the way, I really apologize about sniveling. Um, I, I, I am still a little ill, and I know some people absolutely hate it, but unfortunately, I just, I just can't pause for every single one. It would just ruin the flow of the video, and it'd make it really hard to record. So I really apologize for people that really hate that. It's just unfortunate how it's going to be. Um, I can't even remember what I was going to say now. I've lost track. Oh, with X-Ray, like, the fact that it's free, free entry for all of them is, is wild. Heart Rupture's doing its thing. Good stuff. I really, really like this trinket. It's kind of crazy that it puts a fire down at such a high chance and it stays for so long. And they block shots as well, although that is also a very good trinket. I'd I'd love the ability to do some smelting right now because we've got some good trinkets around. We've got some good trinkets around. That's a very good item as well. I like that. Don't you dare steal a charge from me. Don't you dare, thank you. So we've got, we've got some fiery vengeance paired up here quite nicely, which is good. Quite like what we got going on with our fires. Do I want to go in the shop? Maybe. I think I want to uh, save my money though and try and get one more penny. Let's get out of here, sir. Oh god, that was kind of close. Good for you, sir. Good for you. Okay, there's that other penny. Let's go quickly buy uh, extra. I think it's very worthwhile. Yeah, we are we are on a gnarly run right now. This is this is some good stuff. We got some really really nice uh, nice items together here. Boom, bow, love that. Yeah, the fact that it's free entry is is just top tier. A ludicrously good item. Yeah, I'm very very much looking forward to seeing. Uh, Seeing my fiance when she gets back, it's it's been a week without her, and it's it's not like I can't last a week, but it's like we just got engaged, man. And she had to go straight straight to another country for work. It was rough. <laughs> sad times, man, sad times. Also, I've just been fucking bored. <laughs> it's like you don't realise how like when you have someone when you live with someone, especially a partner, when you live with your partner, like it means that you like always got like someone to talk to at least at some point during the day. So it's really, really dull when you don't. <laughs> Even as someone that like me that's fairly anti-social. Like I'm not a very social person, but like it's different. I, I don't know. I don't know if any of you guys are, are, that are like really anti-social are like this too. Like I feel like when you're really anti-social, but you have a partner, like I, the, the way that it's always been described to me with like being anti-social and stuff is like it, it's based on your social battery, um, sort of like how much social situations you can take before you can before you, before you have to be alone for a while to recharge and I, it just it doesn't drain with my partner like I, I I have this really limited social battery as in like literally oh what the hell um as in literally like if I, if I'm with people for any more than a few hours more especially if I'm not like up for it God I'm just drained I just can't be arsed and I want to leave and I want to be alone. Never happens to her partner. Literally never happens. It, it's it's like it's like she exists outside of this system somehow. It's really nice. Good. But it does also mean that I miss her and I'm bored. <laughs> I'm dangerously bored. Ooh, hello. We got the double sack going on. The double sack. That was phantom pains then. I was shitting myself at what hurt me there, but yeah, it's Phantom Pains doing its thing. I'll forgive you, Phantom Pains. It's a secret room, I don't think it is, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah. Oh, man. We absolutely love Pinhead right now. Pinhead is doing some wild things. Again, Phantom Pains. Ooh, Strange Apple. I've not... Wait, did... Did Strange... Is Strange Apple... The item I'm thinking it is, is a new item. Strange... I don't know. Str I thought Strange Apple was the one that gave you the, the big red dude, but this might be like an updated version of Strange Apple. Which I really like the look of, by the way. If it is an updated version, really cool. If it's a new item, also really cool. I think it's just an updated version of the, uh, of the Strange Apple from Something Wicked. Really, really cool update. I like it. It's a lot less visually distracting as well. Before it was too big. 
re-roll that bad boy. Get some good stuff out of it here. Get some of our tier it back finally. I like that. Oh, the fires just go wild, man. The fires go wild. I, l I can't believe how strong, like, all the fire items are. I can't, I can't believe they're at quality 4. They, they destroy shots. They do insane damage. It's just, it's crazy. Lookfoot's pretty good here as well. But our trinket, we've, we, we've, we've found, this has been a wild run for trinkets. We've found so many trinkets, but honestly, the trinket we have right now is just too good to give up. But the game has been given us options. The game has been given us options. Okay. We're skating through. I have I have thought about, like, in terms of, like, Isaac on my channel not doing so well sometimes. I have thought about, like, maybe just switching up my content style and doing, like, a Lazy Matman style video just to see how it goes. Um, But I feel like it's one of those things where it's, like, it's a different type of content that's not really my style. It'd take a lot more effort with the editing and stuff. Um... And I'd probably have to pay an editor eventually if I was going to do it full time. But also, I feel like it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, it seems like the, the solution to get more views is to like, mimic what someone else is doing that's doing really well. But I genuinely just think Lizzie Matman got really fucking lucky. And like, so for example, I have this tool. Ooh, that's some good hearts there. Um, okay, golden bombs as well. I have this tool on, um, on YouTube. That basically allows me to see, like, analytics on other YouTube videos and, like, what tags they have and stuff. And the other day, so I I, I put a bunch of tags on my video to, um, to try and boost the SEO and boost the searchability and stuff like that. All to do with, like, Isaac and modding. One second. There you go. All to do with, like, Isaac and modding and all that sort of stuff to try and boost the searchability. And I was like, damn, I, I wonder what Lazy Matman does. I wonder what, uh, what, what tags he uses because his videos get crazy views. He doesn't tag his videos. They have no tags. There's no tags at all. Like, none. <laughs> YouTube is like, make sure you tag your videos to boost your SEO searchability. He doesn't fucking... Oh, dude, now we get fucking marbles. What is this trinket run? What is this trinket run? Um. Yeah, like, it's just, it's just like, I, I, like, nothing against the guy. Dude makes fucking great content and more power to him for doing well. But it just, YouTube is annoying. It's not about the quality of content. It's about getting lucky. Like... The man does make quality content, but it's about getting lucky. Like, it, that you're supposed to tag your videos. <laughs> YouTube tells you to tag your videos. It fucking rams it down your throat in the studio to tag your videos. And it's like, eh, he just doesn't. And it, it literally doesn't matter at all. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, it's, I don't think it's, so, my, my, mine just is a different style of content, and honestly, unfortunately, the style of content I make is dying, because people's attention span is fucking tiny nowadays. People can't sit and watch a video for 50 minutes. It's just not plausible for most people, <laughs> which, it, it doesn't help. Um, but it, I think it's more just about exposure. Like, how how do I find the best way to expose Lizzie Matman and people like that's viewers to my content? Each one of Isaac Tears gets four different effects. Ooh, that's interesting. I like the idea behind that. Oh, uh, that was a much larger damage down than it let on. But I like it. I like it. It's kind of like, it's kind of like fruit here, in a way. I like that a lot. Ooh, that's a, that's a lot of crane games and also a lot of tech. Oh yes, herming, lovely. Right, we've got we've got ways of making bank on this floor. We need to find a room with a lot of. Uh, wait, let me just let me just see. Yeah, we need to find a room with a lot of rocks and a lot of enemies, preferably. Dude, this this item might be one of my favorite ever. Also, what what is going on with all of these friends here? What is actually happening? It's making me lag so bad. Could, could you all die, please? <laughs> I think it's the hearts that make it lag. 
Right, I'm looking for a large room, preferably. This room's a good contender, although there's no enemies in here. This is a good room. I'm gonna do this one. Oh, dude, it throws all of these geezers. Can I bomb them and kill them? No, I can't. That, that's a shame. That would have been great if I could have killed all them. Oh, for fuck's sake, copper bombs. Just behave. Okay, this is good. We've got some spike rocks here. Come over here, little fellas. I'd like to introduce you to this rock that I found. Thank you. Right, that was good. That was good. Dude, I absolutely love this fucking strawberry milk or whatever it was called. It's incredible. Um... I'm just going to reroll that. Oh. Nah. Pretty happy with what I've got going on with my Herming Tears, to be honest. I didn't realize it'd reroll into another... Oh, fuck's sake. Another thingy item. Now, the question is... What do we spend our money on here? I think... I think technology's still a good shout. I think technology with Herming and, and this setup is going to be pretty goddamn good. I think all the tier effects will still apply the same sort of thing. Wow, we got it straight away. All the tech, baby. All the tech. Yeah, this is going to be good. <laughs> this is going to be good. And we go back and we'll buy marbles and hope for the best with marbles. Just, we should have a wild run for trinkets. It's, it's kind of crazy. I'm going to need you to smell everything I've got. Because there's trinkets galore right now. It's, it's, it's actually mental. Dude, this is wild. Can you just fucking pop your head up, mate? Got an item that's charming things as well, that's kind of nice. Oh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay, that's kind of nice to find, a good old Turk in there. Yeah, this is nuts. What a, what a wild run we got going on here. What a wild run we got going on here. Guess I'll grab that as well, but yeah. Imagine if we had some, like, the smelter or something. We would be on a crazy run for trinkets right now. Absolutely mental. Ooh, that's pretty good. I don't know why I didn't take damage on entering this room, to be honest. I'm not quite sure what that was about. Ooh, a tears down. I'm gonna take the uh, occult thing here and see if we can get some use out of it. <clears throat> right. Why do we have so many items? Improves the layouts and rewards of secret. Finally, an item that isn't <laughs> one of those. Not really what I was looking for, though. Ah, every fucking time, man. Every fucking time. Right, to the shop. Been a crazy run, man. Look at another trinket. It's just, they're everywhere. Oh, it's Keeper's Sack as well. I'd love Keeper's Sack right now. Where art thou, single penny? Um, here, I guess? Dude! Dude, what the fuck is going on? There's just so many fucking trinkets and they're all so good. They're all so good. 
This is mental. And of course, Marbles hasn't proc'd once yet. It's only like a 5% chance. So it's not if I'm going to go hurting myself to try and proc it. It'd be too risky. But goddamn. Goddamn. <coughs> Some crazy stuff. Oh yeah, this this runs mental. This, this this strawberry milk item, I've never seen it before. It might genuinely be my favorite item ever. Is it is it strawberry whatever it's called? I'm gonna go and find out what mod pack it's from because I don't recognize it. Um, let me just go do this first. Good. good. I think lump of coal is probably a good thing to take here. Right. Let me quickly go and check. Okay, I, for one, I have a lot of messages for some reason. Um, one moment. Okay. Let's go to my files and take a little look-see. One second. Binding of Isaac. Mods. Right. Strawberry. Is it under strawberry milk? No, it's not. It's not strawberry milk. What the hell is it called, then? Is it from something wicked? It feels like a something wicked item to me. Let me have a look see. It's gonna be really hard for me to find because I don't know what it's what mod pack it's from or what it's called. Makes things significantly harder. What the hell was it called? I realize this is a little boring, but I really want to know so I can praise whoever made it. <laughs> Maybe if I just type in milk, I'll be able to find it. Milk? It definitely was a milk item, wasn't it? No, I've not seen it under milk either. I might have to look at it after this video because I don't remember what it's called at all. Unless it's just not named that in the files. Um, gives strawberry. It's not, ah, milk. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what it's called. No idea whatsoever. Maybe one day we'll find out, but for right now I have no idea. Flat Does Flatstone do anything with tech? I don't know. I'll, I'm, I'm gonna give it a go. Regardless, dude. Creating black hearts and all sorts of wild shit here. This, like, might might genuinely be better than Fruitcake. <laughs> What's going on over there? What did I do? What did I do? What's happening? <laughs> I think I've created something quite evil. What the fuck is going on? Genuinely have no idea. I'm getting hurt by stuff. I think I think what's going on is there's an infinite loop being produced here. I don't know if it's ever going to end, so I'm going to try and get into my item room. There's a lot of cards about. I don't know what caused this. I'm imagining it's something to do with, um... Skipping Stone. Well, there you go. Hey, what? Wow. Okay, I don't know if that's going to happen every time. If it, it... Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Okay, we we have accidentally ruined our run here. Okay. Remove skipping. What's it called? Flatstone. Flatstone. Okay, let's get out of here. If we can. Oh lord, what is happening? I'm gonna hope that it's Flatstone that caused that. 
I think it is. It seems to be fine now. Okay. We're unfor unfortunately flat stone because of one of the surges it has just breaks everything. Kind of wild. Kind of wild indeed. But it's good enough without it, so it's fine. The fact that we have Herming on top of all this is pretty great too. Plus the double technology is fun. Why does this room exist? Tell me why. Check in here. It's a lot of pennies. Honestly, just... Ah. I was hoping I could create a um, black hole to suck them all into one point. But I, I need an enemy for that. <laughs> Do you guys want to stop punching each other? Thank you for the random eternal heart. Cheese grater. I'll take that. Okay. God damn, this is so powerful. It's amazing. I like it very much though. This room's always super scary, but I've gotten really good at it. Ooh, nice. A charged key is not something I was expecting. Oh, my game crashed. I think? Yes, it did. Wow, one second. Okay, we're back in the game now, so let's see where we're at. I think we are going to have to, um... We are going to have to redo most of the floor, but at least this time we don't buy Flatstone. <laughs> That'll help. That will help quite a bit. Dude. All the goddamn black hearts. Ooh, another puberty. Thank you. Good stuff. Okay. Let's try and keep this together this time. I don't know what crashed it last time. It was a bit wild. What was in here? Bozo, I'm going to re-roll it this time. I got Hypno Ring, which is, I think, better. I think Hypno Ring's better. I, I, whatever, whatever it is that's floating around me that keeps creating friends, I really want to get rid of it. I'm sacrificing my, my boys. Okay, it didn't really work. I lost a lot of HP trying to get rid of this guy. I think it's gone, though. I think it's gone. Ah, so this room was meant to have an enemy in it, and last time I just charmed him instantly. That's kind of funny. Right. Dead. Get our money back. Still, I am on my streak not ever filling my donation machine because I actually find it kind of a, uh, a crutch. And so I've been I've been liking not having the uh, the donation machine available to me to be able to cheese things. It's kind of nice. Another eternal heart. There you go. And then this was that was a pretty decent reroll actually. It ends the B item, which I quite like. So I don't know how I killed him before. Either way, he dead now. Hello. I will take that. That's a that's a lot of stones, my boy. That's a lot of stones. I think I'll take this one. Right. Quickly go and reroll that into the B item again. I keep forgetting as well that we've got um keeper's ball sack, so we should be buying literally everything we can. What's Queen of Clubs do? Bunch of bombs. I said a bunch of bombs, it was one. Right, yeah, I keep forgetting we've got that. Is that an overcharge I active? Yes, please. Serious. Very, very nice. It's this room again. Oh, can we skip past it? Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, we got the uh, charge key again. I forgot about that last time. Okay, hopefully whatever crashed last time doesn't crash us this time. How dare you? Bopping away my soul of Eden. My soul of Eden. Nah. Right, boss time. It's the mum herself. 
the mum, the myth, the legend. Wow, okay, that was kind of wild. Right, <clears throat> we're away. Okay, we can buy some stuff here. Um, I'm gonna sort of eat it and see what we get. Yeah, we'll fire a brimstone. We'll reroll that as well. We get a bomb bag. Why not? I haven't had a Zazel's Rage in ages. Is, is that what it's called, a Zazel's Rage? Something like those lines, isn't it? I haven't had it in a while. It's like I kind of forgot existed, to be honest. Oh my lord, dude, we are in such a good spot to get loads of stats with Keeper's Sack by uh, who also Contraband Boy. Um, um bow. There you go, beautiful. Um, by just like getting loads of purchases at the start of each level. Very good item to have for us. And look at look at like just the infinite amount of money we can gain by just shooting at things and them turning into a fountain of coins. Oh yeah, this is nice. Azazel's Rage is going to be good for us. I was a bit worried Azazel's Rage wouldn't be as good as our laser. It seems just as good, if not maybe better. So, no harm, no foul there. <clears throat> I like that a lot. Dude, what the fuck just happened there? More money. Less problems. Oops, secret room. Spawns a glitched item. These have been good to us in the past. Grant Stimple on clearing a room farts. Hitting enemy has a 5% chance to deal damage. Um, yeah, we'll take that. It's not bad for us. We just fart a lot, which is good because when we fart, we fire off a, a fire. Good timing on the laser there, good timing on the laser. A lot more money. Got down, that's a lot more money, holy shit. Right, that's good. Reroll the other two, see what we get. Good stuff. Right, I think we're good to go. Use our small contraband. It's shop on shop. Oh, oh my god. You're seriously going to give me rubber cement and Play-Doh cookie on this run? That is, uh, that's quite something. That's quite something. Oh, this is beautiful. Truly something to behold here. I don't know where that tech X ring is coming from, but thank you. I actually have literally no idea what, what's causing that to exist. Oh my god, this is this run is fucking beautiful. Like, as in visually it's beautiful. What is this ring from? Like, I'm looking at the items that I have around me for my, uh, for my Lamagetum Wisps, and I don't see it in there either, so I'm, I'm really unsure. I'm just gonna accept it and move on. I, I love any, any item like Fruitcake or this item that makes it where you can get to your effects that normally are based off of luck without having luck. It basically just treats it as if you have maximum luck. I think it's beautiful. It's so nice. Right, Zezel's Rage is ready to go. Singe stones. More money there. A lot more money here. We got what's going on here. More money here. My god. Ow. Good old bomb to show us what for, I guess. <laughs> oh my lord. I'm taking a lot of damage to my own hits, but I think we're generally okay. You'll see my health now is, is quite nice. Ah, I shouldn't have picked up that penny. I could have got some extra HP there. Um, 
Where art thou, mum? <laughs> no, it crashed again! Oh my lord, one second. Right, we're back again. If the screen's gonna catch up. I know you've got a black screen, there you go. Right. Oh, what? Our shop item didn't appear, okay. Okay, we got give giant cell. Give, um, rubber cement. Give Plato cookie. Cool. Give myself back what I was owed. I feel like that is only fair. Okay. For the rest of all of this, I don't know what's going on. More fire rates, very nice here. There's a spider in here. Don't think we need more money. I think we know where we're going as well, don't we, this time? Token there, no thank you. Right. Don't bullshit me this time, game. How on earth did you get into this phase? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ah, you bastard. I think we're on red health now. Okay. Yeah, this has been a just insane run. I mean, I haven't had a run that's been so crazy it's crashed in some time. So, getting a crashing run is, uh, pretty wild. <laughs> it's so- the damage is insane! I have 3.4 damage. 3.4 damage and this is what we're seeing right now. Um, extra range. Yeah. Okay. I like the farts too. The farts are nice. You good? Ah, oh, there was a black heart there, but it's over a gap, so we can't get to it. You savage game. How dare you. <clears throat> oh. He stole my contraband, the one that I already used. Man, I want this item all the time. It's my favourite item ever. <laughs> giving us black hearts for days. It's killing things instantly. It's giving us cards, giving us money. This item's well overtuned and I love it. <laughs> I Something's wrong with it, though. It's clearly this item, right? This time I'm not going to pause the recording. It's clearly this item that's causing the crashes. It must be. Because it's as soon as I walk into a room and start firing. It's kind of wild. <laughs> it's kind of wild. At least the game isn't bricking. It's very annoying when the game crashes and it just won't open again, but... Um, luckily, it's letting us continue our run. It just, it, it just means we're having to replay some flaws. Right. Try again. Ow. You good? You good? Okay. Very nice. Ow. With a black heart. Gotta love it. Filled up that red heart instantly too. Where where exactly are we going here? Mini boss room with no mini boss. <laughs> he just decided to take a vac here. We don't mind. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, we're, we're, we're near. We are near. There you go. What up, Plump? 
fun has been game ended. Yeah, you're not surviving much. Okay, last floor. Hopefully we don't get a crash on this floor too. Hopefully the game just lets us carry on as normal. We'll see. Ooh, bit of, bit of curved horn. Thank you. Bit of squeezy. Oh, what we got going on here? Virus, juicy sack, cat food, and unicorn stump. Oh, ho, ho. you know, I'm just fucking that good. Bird's eye and super meat fan. Oh, ho, ho. Even with the even with the re sprites, I know I'm by the silhouette. Also, our damage has gone up a lot. <laughs> Kev Horn is uh, pretty good for us in this run. Well, why do we have to redo this room? Dude! <laughs> Dude, something with this item is broken. It's so much worse when it just crashes and doesn't give you an error. Like, at least, at least before, I could know what's crashing it. Now it's just like, nope. Game over, fool. Right. Back once again, back once again, back once again with the man that he's pasta. Right. I'm actually gonna re-roll them all this time and see what I get. Loaded D6. Right. We're probably going to have to redo this a few times, I reckon. I reckon the game's not going to be super kind to me. Also, don't make us redo the pins again, please. I don't know why it made us do them twice last time. Unless there is... Okay, there is just six. That's just the way the room's designed, I see. No! Okay, so... I think... I think I know what the crash is. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test my theory. I think it's pin shot plus this item causing some weird interactions because it ha it's happening on pin consistently and that means that it's when there's multiple segments pinning together. So if I get rid of pinhead and then try, we're going to see. We're going to get rid of pinhead. And then we're going to try. Right, back to the same rooms again, just to do, te do a test run. And I have a feeling we're not going to crash this time. Ha 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 ha! I think I'm onto something, baby. I think I'm onto something. I know it's not exactly super relevant. Oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. Ugh, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough, people. Oh, I hope you're in for a bit of a long ride here, because this is yeah. I don't. I don't really know what's causing this. I don't. I don't really know how to stop it. I'm trying to think of what else it could be. I think it's just this item. The certain tier effects that it's doing that is causing a crash. I mean, the, my, my current way of thinking is, let's just not go that way. Let's go this way this time. Okay. And also, tap fire. Don't, don't spam. Fire as little as we can get away with it sort of thing. Oh, we have to go that way. Bullshit. A little cheeky black heart there, thank you. It might be something to do with the glitched item, maybe. It seems, that seems unlikely, but it could be. Glitched items can do some weird stuff, you never know. Um, 
Just, just, just straight up taking, ah, uh, there's creep on the floor. It's like just taking random damage here. Don't like this situation. Yeah, you need to stop. All this creep is there. Uh, it's too much, man. It's too much. He just sucked that bomb straight up, didn't he? He just ate it straight away. Why is he always on this floor, man? Always. Good. Okay. There's a black heart in here. There's brain worm in here. That, that could be interesting. I don't think it does much for us, to be honest, but we'll take it. Right. Okay. Right. Quickly. Escape game. Continue. That save gives us a save state before the boss, in case we crash in the boss fight. See, this is why I save stated, people. This is why I save stated. Because that's gonna happen. And it's probably gonna happen quite a few times. <laughs> Battling for my streak against crashing is, uh, it's quite something. Quite something. <clears throat> but we will prevail. We will prevail. Luckily, like I said, it's saved before the boss fight, so we're all good on that front. Oh, fuck you, you crap faces. What we could do to really push the boat out is just use bombs. <laughs> I don't think that's going to go super well. I mean, it didn't go too bad, to be fair. Oh, really? He went to sleep now? <laughs> Alright, I'm trying my best to not fire. <laughs> and then, small specks of fire to land some stickies on him. This is working pretty well. Just keep bombing him. Right, my mini Isaacs are doing good damage too. There you go, that worked out. <laughs> Just don't fire. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this weirdly, insanely crashy run. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.